so far Lyft has been really good. I mean, uh, it's just been a way to make some supplemental income. Uh, you know, I did it last Friday night and I think I had like eight trips and made 60 bucks. So uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, <laughs> you meet some interesting people or maybe some intoxicated people, but uh, the, everyone was really nice and you just got to meet a few people and make some money and uh, just allowed me to get out and, um, you know, make some supplemental income with, uh, you know, with my spare time. Uh, Uber, I'm excited, you know, basically for the same reasons. Um, and actually, I think having uh, like two platforms will help me as a driver, it'll help consumers. I think uh, all in all, it'll just help everybody uh, around Dubuque and give people a little ride share and uh, allow them, you know, to, uh, you know, take rides wherever they want and at the literally at the click of a button. So I love it more than anything as a consumer. Um, I'll probably take more lifts than I'll ever give out, or more lifts and Ubers than I'll ever give out. Um, it's just a great way to get around, and you know, um, it prevents you know people from drinking and driving, which is a huge thing. Um, and it just allows people to get wherever they want, and you know, kind of plan. It's it's a huge thing for um, people of my generation. I know. Um, I've been on a couple of like focus groups and you know the, the city of Dubuque was like gathering information and it's like what, what do people want and ride share was like the number one thing. Um, you know Lyft, Uber, we're in multiple focus groups, uh, something that was very important to everyone. Oh, you know, the, I think other than that it was like a minor league baseball stadium so that, that's next I guess. <laughs>